When you think of the Solheim Cup, one European player stands above the rest, Dame Laura Davis. She played in 12 tournaments, including the first ever match in 1990, and had happy memories of Europe's first win two years later. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. I mean, when Nils Mark, Kipchin and Nils Mark hold that putt on, would have been, what, 16, 16 green, we all went berserk. Some of the best pictures I've ever seen is of, of the European team. We had horrible waterproof jackets we were all wearing because it was Scotland and it was pretty chilly in September. Um, yeah, no, it was just a, an amazing team win and we had a great party and that's when I think, that's when the Solheim Cup took off because having been slaughtered in the first one, we then won the second one. And, or was it the... Yeah, I think it was the second one, wasn't it? So we evened things up and I think then everyone thought, oh, this is a competition now, it's not a landslide. So I think that helped to make it what it is. Davis would go on to be the highest point scorer in the history of the competition before being left out in 2013 and taking up a new role behind the mic. Um, the, the first time I commented, I didn't really enjoy it because, I, like you said, it was too close to the fact that I was nearly in... Well, not nearly in the team, because Lotte was obviously never going to pick me, but in my mind, I felt I, like I had a really good chance. So that wasn't so much fun. But the last two that I've done the commentary for, I've enjoyed it because you're seeing it from a whole different side and you can see the pressure these girls are under and you're thinking, would I really want to be under that spotlight at this stage, not having the best game that you've got, that you used to have? So maybe the, the watching side of it's more fun now than actually being out in the thick of it. So it's, uh, I've, done, I've got the best of both worlds, really. It's a shame we've never had it in England because we've got such great golf courses and it's, it's amazing to me that we've been to Germany and, you know, places where Sweden, they've obviously had a huge representation in the Solheim Cup over the years, but England's never had it and we've probably had more players in the Solheim team than anyone else. Um, but that's the powers that be that do and do and don't put it in England. I don't know, maybe the money's not there, who knows? But if it's in England, I don't know. I mean, I don't really want to be the captain, to be quite honest. I, it doesn't appeal to me at all.